Spoilers ahead. Watch out, and take care. The movie begins with Billy Russity, a man who wants to meet his boss, Don Cesar, a mobster. Billy and Cesar get into a furious disagreement, that almost results in bloodshed, due to a minor misunderstanding. Fortunately, Billy's right hand, Nicky Donatelli, is able to settle their disagreement and calm Cesar. While Billy and Nicky are leaving Cesare's house, the mafia boss is seen holding a dinner party with his minions. Soon, a man named Frank Castle infiltrates Cesare's home, and slaughters everyone, including Cesar. Meanwhile, two police officers are watching the situation outside Cesare's house, hear gunshots from inside and race in to investigate. Safiati, a police officer, happens to meet Frank, as he is ready to depart after killing Cesar and all his men. After discovering who Frank Castle truly is, Safiati lets him go, and even hands him the keys to his car so he can escape. Safiati punches himself in the nose till he bleeds, acting as if Frank had hit him. Safiati and his colleague then ask for backup, and when the cops arrive, he makes up a tale about Frank striking him, and fleeing after stealing his car. Elsewhere, three members of the Urban Free Flow Gang, and Billy's guys arrive at Billy's headquarters. The three men turn out to be substance couriers, who Billy frequently uses, due to their skills. On the other side, Frank has already infiltrated there, and killed several of Billy's men who were guarding outside, unknowing to Billy. Frank assassinates Billy's other henchmen, and inadvertently assassinates Nikki, who turns out to be an undercover FBI agent. Frank and Billy have a shootout, before Billy falls into a glass-crushing machine, leaving him horribly maimed. He survives despite suffering severe facial injuries. Frank then dashes away, slaughtering all of Billy's soldiers. With Nikki's burial the next day, Paul Budiansky, the FBI agent who is Nikki's partner, is enraged with his superior agent Miller, who assigned Nikki to a perilous mission, involving Billy Russity and his notorious thugs. Miller, on the other hand, jokes that he had not anticipated the arrival of Frank Castle, who will kill all of Cesare's henchmen, including Billy and his men. Paul meets Nikki's wife, Angela, and tells her that he will find Frank, the man responsible for Nikki's death, who attends Nikki's funeral from afar, and visits the graves of his family. Frank experiences horrible recollections of his family's massacre, which haunted him, and motivated all his vigilante activities thus far. Following that, Paul goes to the local police station, and questions the police's inept performance in catching Frank, dubbed the Punisher, who had been functioning as a vigilante for the past four years. The police and Paul have a heated dispute, before Safiati proposes Paul meet with a police officer named Martin Soap, who performed a number of investigations relating to Frank. Martin tells Paul that Frank is a former Special Forces soldier, who lost his wife and daughter to the Mafia. Following the deaths, Frank committed his life to combating crime in his own way, breaking no laws, because he believes not all criminals receive the penalty they deserve, so he will punish them in his own way, which he believes is quite fair. Meanwhile, Frank tells one of his minions, a man called Microchip, that he murdered an innocent FBI agent, and feels terrible, especially after knowing that the man had a wife and a daughter who loved him. He can understand their grief because he had gone through something similar. Microchip arrives there, to deliver the weapons and equipment that Frank required. He is a trustworthy informant, and attempts to console Frank, but he urges him to leave him alone. Elsewhere, Billy learns from his guys the true identity of Nikki Donatelli, an FBI agent. Not only that, but they say that Nikki had kept all the money from illegal transactions during this time. One of Billy's men, Pitsy states, he knows Nikki's home address, and believes the money is kept there. A doctor enters the room, and is going to remove the bandage that is hiding Billy's face. However, the doctor is apparently unable to operate on Billy's face, because his visage appears even more horrific, forcing one of his colleagues named Ink to vomit. After all, he couldn't stomach looking at Billy's hideous face. Pitsy then pulls Ink aside, and chastises him for being weak. When they return to the room, Billy had apparently killed the doctor for failing to perform an operation on his face. Later in the car, Billy discusses his plan with them, which is to get his money back, and assassinate Frank. Shifting to a mental hospital treatment room, where Jim, Billy's younger brother, is a prisoner, and is handled quite cruelly by a nurse. Jim is a murderer and a psychopath, who is so cruel, that they have to restrain him firmly to keep him from fighting. Billy and his guys arrive not long after, and swiftly liberate Jim, who is taken aback by his brother's abrupt change in appearance, but he thinks it's amazing, because Billy now appears even more frightening and menacing. After being released from his chains, Jim tortures the nurse who had mistreated him, and savagely murders him. When the four walk inside a hotel, Billy is shocked and devastated to see his reflection in the mirror. 
Jim calms him down and pledges to assist him in killing Frank, exacting vengeance on the man. To make him feel better, Jim destroys all of the mirrors in the room. Frank arrives at Nikki's place in the evening, to meet Angela, to apologize for killing Nikki, and he gives Angela money as an apology. Angela, on the other hand, holds a gun to Frank, and chases him out of her house. Elsewhere, Billy and his henchmen are seen meeting a drug lord named Christu. Billy is enraged when one of Christu's guys deliberately insults his face, and he kills him right away. A fight nearly breaks out between them, but Christu is able to defuse the situation and apologize to Billy. They finally agree to do a transaction at the port, in the near future. The next day, Frank visits Microchip at his home, and informs him he is retiring as the Punisher, and leaving town. Microchip informs him that Billy is still alive, and will exact his revenge, so Frank refuses to retire, and vows to murder Billy and his goons. Frank then consults with Microchip and a man named Carlos, who informs him about Billy's henchmen, Maginti, and the gang, who are planning a robbery. Paul decides to work with Martin to catch Frank. At night, Frank, who knew where Maginti and his men are, races there and slaughters them, learning about Billy. However, Paul and Martin, who are also present, notice Frank and go after him. Frank and Paul get into a heated argument, before Frank is able to knock Paul out. But as it turns out, it was all Paul's scheme to apprehend Frank, who urges Paul to let him go, since Billy and his thugs are on their way to Angela's house, to get the money that Nikki had hidden, and Frank needs to save them. However, Paul seems unconcerned, and continues to shackle him. Billy and his thugs arrive at Angela's residence, and imprison her and her daughter. He inquires about the money. Angela claims to know nothing about it. While he interrogates her, Jim causes a commotion, purposefully damaging things about the house. Two police officers who happen to be patrolling the vicinity hear the disturbance. When the cops arrive at the residence, Jim savagely murders them both. Angela, terrified for her daughter's safety, mentions her late husband has a safe in their room, and gives him the code. Paul arrives in front of the house, and orders Martin to keep an eye on Frank, who is chained in the back seat. After Paul enters, Frank requests Martin release him, because Martin is his police informant. Inside, Ink and Pitsy await Paul's arrival, and warn him not to move hastily, if he doesn't want Angela and her daughter killed. Meanwhile, Billy is furious when he discovers that the safe does not contain any of the money he seeks. An irritated Billy raises a fuss, which Jim quickly follows. Pitsy requests Ink to check upstairs, but Frank emerges, and beats him up. Paul takes advantage of the situation to take his gun, and prepares to murder Pitsy. Frank, on the other hand, kills him first, and rushes to take Angela and her daughter away. When Paul tries to stop Frank, Billy and Jim appear from upstairs, and shoot him right away, forcing Paul to dodge their shot, and let Frank go. Billy and Jim are apprehended and escorted to the police station by Paul and Martin. Meanwhile, Frank drives Angela and her kid to their hiding place, where he offers Angela's daughter some of his daughter's toys, to cheer her up. Billy and Jim are transferred to FBI headquarters, where Agent Miller offers them both freedom, in exchange for their cooperation in catching Christu and his gang. Billy and Jim both agree without hesitation. They go to the docks, to negotiate a deal with Christu, where FBI agents are already planning an ambush for Christu and his gang. Later, Billy and Jim are both released, because they assisted Agent Miller in capturing Christu. Not only that, but Agent Miller informs Billy about Microchip, a close buddy of Frank's. Next, Carlos informs Frank that Microchip is unable to see him right now, due to his mother's illness. When Frank hears this, he orders Carlos to look after Angela and her daughter, while he goes to Microchip's house. When Frank arrives, he discovers Microchip's mother had perished in a sad accident, and he can't find him anywhere. Frank runs back to his hiding place, where he sees Carlos seriously injured and dying, and discovers Jim has taken Angela and her daughter. When Carlos requests Frank end his agony, Frank obliges. Billy and Jim obviously intend to use Microchip Angela and her daughter as bait, to draw Frank in and murder him. Following that, Frank is seen talking with Paul, who informs him that Billy and Jim have been released, and requests Frank try Billy and Jim in his own way, because they are both above the law. Frank agrees and informs that if he wants to help him, he must give up his badge and his job as a federal agent. Meanwhile, Billy and Jim are walking to a pub, where they will gather people, and prepare everything for their vengeance action against Frank. While Frank keeps an eye on Billy and Jim's hideout, which is strongly secured by his thugs, Paul pays a visit to Christu's father, to bear you. He offers to help seek revenge on Billy, the man who imprisoned Christu. Tiberiu agrees to Paul's offer of cooperation without hesitation, since he desires vengeance for his son. 
At night, Tiberiu and several of his henchmen pay a visit to Billy's house, posing as mercenaries, who will help him in his struggle against the Punisher. Meanwhile, Angela, her kid, and Microchip are spotted held captive in a building room. When Billy's men are inside the building, Tiberiu directs his minions to attack them. Gun battles are unavoidable, taking place downstairs. Frank enters the building from the second floor, and manages to kill some of Billy's guys. But then he gets into a battle with Jim, and Jim is completely overpowered by Frank, a highly skilled ex-Special Forces guy. Jim flees inside the room where the prisoners are being kept hostage. Billy points his gun towards Microchip, while Jim points his gun at Angela and her daughter. Frank is forced to choose between his best friend and Angela and her daughter, who must be saved. He eventually opts to save Angela and her daughter. After killing Jim, Frank gets enraged and attacks Billy, beating him to death, in a horrible manner. After Frank kills Billy and his gang, and saves Angela and her daughter, Paul tells him he needs to leave right away, because the cops are on their way to arrest him. Angela hugs Frank, and tells him she forgives him for his error. When Frank and Martin go out, Martin tries to persuade Frank to abandon his vigilante status, he has killed every criminal in town. Martin instantly changes his mind after being held up by a mugger, who quickly becomes a victim of the Punisher. The end. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Turn on the notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out.